hello my beautiful beauties and my wonderful lovelies a pleasant morning to you now this topic that i'm about to discuss is a very controversial one a one that creates a lot of problems predominantly in churches among the christian faith or christian community but it is a conversation that we will have we have to have difficult conversations we will agree to disagree and so on if we don't all right, it's about divorce. Now, we know that God doesn't like it because we know the ramifications and the mayhem and the hurt and the pain that divorce costs, um, causes, even in, a, in the ones that, you know, people, they so wanted the divorce. You know, it just created a lot of stress and strain and in some cases unnecessarily. Had they avoided getting married to this individual, which now will segue me into the book of Ezra, chapters 9 and 10 predominantly, which spoke about God sanctioning, God wanting, you know, um, the Israelites to divorce. And this was in the case when they were marrying foreign, like, foreign wives, like the Canaanites, the Jebusites, the Hittites. Remember, these people were enemies of God. You know, they were rebellious against God. And if you understand the first commandment, remember what the first commandment says. Do not put any other gods above God. Love the Lord your God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, with all of your mind, with all of your strength, and love your neighbors as yourself. Now, God is a God who is a jealous one. He doesn't want us to put anyone above him. The reality is that not every human being will serve God not every human being so can you imagine you're a Christian and you marry somebody who is rebellious against God eh, 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 eh. that marriage I know would not be sanctioned by God and Ezra the priest especially in chapter 10 they had to promise that they would divorce their wives and send the wives and children away and had to offer up a ram as a sacrifice now people might say that oh you know that was the olden days and all of that remember the bible says read all scripture whether it's old testament and new testament because it's for reproof for guidance for direction for so many different things all right so it was as important as it is today not all marriages were sanctioned by god there were some marriages that god gave you a warning do not go into that i'm not blessing that one that individual is not for you because this is that individual that you're marrying is against me are you aware that the enemy can put two people together in in matrimony not notice i didn't say holy matrimony yet god sanctioned that divorce because one thing with god he will put no one he will not allow anyone to put anybody or anything above him now i'm not telling people to go and divorce you know please that's not what i'm saying what i'm really saying to you is that make sure that you are equally yoked and i'm not talking about christian to christian only in terms of thinking mindset and different things and make sure god sanctions that marriage follow me on tiktok subscribe to my youtube channel share this